Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. Today I've come to Graffham Water and I'm hoping to seek out some of its finer predator fish such as Xander, Pike and Perch. Now I've got little experience in fishing for toothy critters so I'll be joined today by experienced predator angler Tom Finney. Without further ado, let's get into it. I did dip my toe into predator fishing last year with professional fly fishing guide Ben Bangham and if you missed that video I'll stick a little link up in the information bar there, you may want to check it out after this video. I did hope to do more predator fishing on my local canal but with the third lockdown in place that didn't happen. Well, I'm joined by Witchwood's Tom Finney and I'm going to ask him a few questions before we get going just so I can get a feel for what we're going to do today. So Tom, how long have you been predator fishing? So predator fishing, actually, I've been doing that in two countries, England and South Africa. So I've been doing that for almost 20 years now. But on, on Gratham, although I've been fishing it for 14, 15 years, I've been targeting the predators really heavily for, for the past five years. Yeah. So, yeah, it's far, fast becoming a favourite of mine. Yeah. You'll, you'll see why today. Well, I, I did, um, I got a flavour from Ben Bangham when he took me on the river and managed to catch my first intentional pike on the fly and uh, it was a fantastic experience. The hit's awesome. But um, I was explaining to the viewers earlier, I didn't really get a chance to carry that on because of lockdown, but hopefully I'll put that right today. So, can you tell us what kind of uh, fish we'll be catching today? So, um, so in Grafham there's three species of, predator, of predatory fish that are sort of classed as predators. So the one that, we, that we're really going to target heavily today is the Xander. So um, those sort of, they probably average seven, seven pounds. Wow. Um, there's good chance of a doubles and there are some monsters in here. Like this, this is a venue that has a potential to do a British record. The other species, the obvious one is pike. Um, there are some absolute crocodiles in here. Yeah, it'd be it'd be really cool if we can come across them. I should have brought um, I should have brought gauntlets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, so yeah, they they like I say, there's a good head of twenty pounders in here. So, fingers crossed, we get one. Um, and the third species, one of my favourite, is the perch. And now there are also some absolute crackers in this lake. They not the easiest fish to locate at this time of year. Well, Tom, I've got my uh, reservoir kit with me, my seven weights. Is that going to cut it for these fish today? Unfortunately not, because oh, okay. the pike in here go quite big. And while a seven weight would be fine for perch and even Xander, if you hook a 30 pound pike, you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah. So what, what we tend to use is we tend to use specialist predator, predator rods. So this here is Witchwood's PDR rod, right? They come in three sizes. The one I've got in my hand here is actually a 10 weight. Right, So I've actually got the nine weight. The nine weight. Will I've that got, be sufficient? Yeah, so a nine weight is probably the best all round predator rod. If, if you're only gonna get one predator rod for predator fishing to fish all venues, I would, I would personally get a nine weight. And that okay. is probably the rod that I use the most on here. Right, Tom, let's talk fly patterns. What have you got in your box that you're sharing with me? So, um, today I've got a wide selection of patterns, right? So, um, on, on here with the Xander, they actually, they do like a fly with a bit of flash, but you also need a fly that's really robust, so they've got really sharp teeth. And these here are actually made, tied by a guy called Paul Monaghan, who owns Flashtail Predator Flies. And this, this here is one of my favourites, my PB Xander's on that. I think that's called a flashy rudd deceiver. Got a bit of bucktail, really, really, really um, strong fibres. A lot of movement in the water, a lot of flash, they love it. Well, thanks for that um, brief overview, Tom. I think it's time to stop waffling and get to the boats. Yeah, let's go get them, mate. Well, our predator adventure is underway and we've come across to the North Shore by the concrete tower. 
let's see how we get on. Well, Tom, we've come to the tower. Why have we come to this area in particular? So it's one of the most obvious features on Graf and the tower. There's a lot of features underneath the water that you'll see with a fish finder, but you might not know that, was, that they were there. We're going to see if we can get a fish here before we go and fish some shallower water. Okay, so I'm fishing nearly 30 feet of water. It's on a die seven line. I'm counting down 50 seconds, which is going to get me somewhere near the bottom so I can cover all the water, the water level. So once I've chucked, I'll let my line go down. The first thing I do is I'll do a few big pulls like this just to get the line tight so I'm fishing, get the fly clear of any muscles. Then all I'm going to do is do a slow, slow to steady figure of eight with the odd strip in between and pauses. Often the Xander will hit you on the pause or straight after a strip, but you don't need to yank it back when you're fishing in deep water. Takes will be electric jolts. The most important thing when you get a bite though is don't lift the rod when you strike. A, si a simple strip strike will hook you the fish. Well Tom and I have been fishing for some time now and we've had plenty of encouragement. Actually on my first cast I got a really good dunt and I struck it like a trout and uh, there was nothing on the end when I finished. But we're fishing away. Uh, Tom's had several follows now and we've marked them follows so I've noticed that Tom set up a fish finder in the boat and I'm going to let him just explain how that fish finder works and why we have it at all for that matter. Right so when you predator fly fishing on these reservoirs a fish finder is invaluable for it. While you can still fish features that you can see like weed lines maybe on the surface, buoys or towers, there is a lot that's under the water that you can't see with your eyes. So I use a fish finder for a few reasons. One, it can tell me what features I'm going over. So on Grafham there'll be little channels, there'll be humps, there's some submerged pipes, submerged weed lines. You can see, you can see when you're drifting over those. It's also quite important to know the depth. Like you could be out in the open water, it could, it could be 40 feet deep one moment, so you've got to go a very long countdown to get, to get out. 100 yards further on, you could be in 15 foot and you wouldn't know. So um, I've got the fish finder set up here now. We're in 13 foot of water, drifting into slightly, slightly deeper water. We've had a few follows in this depth, but in, in this depth I'm not letting my flies go down as deep as I was at the towel when I was fishing in 30 feet. You do see the you do see fish on the fish finder when you go over them. Um, you know it's quite handy for seeing Xander and seeing bait fish and stuff like that. But I'm not essentially looking for fish on the fish finder. My main reason for using it are knowing the depth and knowing what I'm fishing over. <laughs> Well, at long last, we're into a fish, and it's an absolute beauty. I just got the flash of colour as it came to the boat, and Tom's just fighting it now. It's an enormous fish. Just had this lovely pipe grab my fly right at the boat. Um, it's not.
Well Tom, we've had four seasons in one day, it's back to being beautiful again, but unfortunately the day's worn on. How do you think it's gone today? How do you think the reservoir's fished? It's been very, very tricky. Um, we had that feeding spell when we had a few pike following and stuff like that. That was good. Got At least got one good fish to the net. Um, but after that, it's been hard. Like the odd tap and bump here. I think you've had a bump. I've had a couple bumps. But um, we've not managed to find the Xander or the perch today. So yeah, but some, some days it just goes like that. Um, but um, that's, predator, that's predator fishing for you. You have some really good days and bad days, but we've caught, we've caught fish, which is a result in itself. Well, no fish for me today, but it was a real pleasure to watch Tom Finney in action. Um, he conjured up fish where very few boats were doing so. Uh, three pike to the boat in the end, and after I'd left, he did send me a picture of a Xander that he caught. Pike fishing uh, on the large water is not all about the numbers game. You can spend long times throwing heavy lines and pulling back for very little reward. But when that reward comes, what a jolt of electricity it is. If you've enjoyed the video and got value from it, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next time.